A north bridge or host bridge is one of the two chips in the core logic chipset architecture on a PC motherboard. Unlike the south bridge, north bridge is connected directly to the CPU via the front side bus and thus responsible for tasks that require the highest performance. The north bridge is usually paired with the south bridge, also known as I.O. controller hub. In systems where they are included, these two chips manage communications between the CPU and other parts of the motherboard, and constitute the core logic chipset of a PC motherboard. On older Intel-based PCs, the North Bridge was also named External Memory Controller Hub or Integrated Memory Controller Hub if equipped with an Integrated VGA Memory Controller Hub. Increasingly these functions became integrated into the CPU chip itself, beginning with memory and graphics controllers. For Intel Sandy Bridge and AMD Accelerated Processing Unit processors introduced in 2011, all of the functions of the North Bridge reside on the CPU, while some high-performance CPUs still require North Bridge and South Bridge chips externally. Separating the different functions into the CPU, North Bridge, and South Bridge chips was due to the difficulty of integrating all components onto a single chip. In some instances, the North Bridge and South Bridge functions have been combined onto one die when design complexity and fabrication processes permitted it. For example, the NVIDIA GeForce 320M in the 2010 MacBook Air is a North Bridge GPU combo chip. As CPU speeds increased, a bottleneck eventually emerged between the processor and a motherboard, due to limitations caused by data transmission between the CPU and its support chipset. Accordingly, starting with the AMD Athlon 64 series CPUs, a new architecture was used where some functions of the North and South bridge chips were moved to the CPU. Modern Intel Core processors have the North bridge integrated on the CPU die, where it is known as the Uncore or System Agent. Overview: The North bridge typically handles communications among the CPU, in some cases RAM and PCI Express video cards, and the South bridge. Some North bridges also contain integrated video controllers, also known as a graphics and memory controller hub and Intel systems. Because different processors and RAM require different signaling, a given North bridge will typically work with only one or two classes of CPUs and generally only one type of RAM. There are a few chipsets that support two types of RAM. For example, the North Bridge from the NVIDIA N Force 2 chipset will only work with socket A processors combined with DDR's DRAM. The Intel i875 chipset will only work with systems using Pentium 4 processors or Celeron processors that have a clock speed greater than 1.3 GHz and utilize DDR-SDRAM, and the Intel i915G chipset only works with the Intel Pentium 4 and the Celeron but it can use DDR or DDR2 memory. Etymology, the name is derived from drawing the architecture in the fashion of a map. The CPU would be at the top of the map comparable to due north on most general purpose geographical maps. The CPU would be connected to the chipset via a fast bridge located north of other system devices as drawn. The north bridge would then be connected to the rest of the chipset via a slow bridge located south of other system devices as drawn. Overclocking, the North Bridge plays an important part in how far a computer can be overclocked, as its frequency is commonly used as a baseline for the CPU to establish its own operating frequency. This chip typically gets hotter as processor speed becomes faster, requiring more cooling. There is a limit to CPU overclocking, as digital circuits are limited by physical factors such as propagation delay which increases with operating temperature. Consequently most overclocking applications have software imposed limits on the multiplier and external clock setting. Evolution The overall trend in processor design has been to integrate more functions onto fewer components, which decreases overall motherboard cost and improves performance. The memory controller, which handles communication between the CPU and RAM, was moved on to the processor die by AMD beginning with their 64 Armenian DRAMS processors and by Intel with their Nehalem processors. One of the advantages of having the memory controller integrated on the CPU die is to reduce latency from the CPU to memory. Another example of this kind of change is NVIDIA's N-Force 3 for 64 Armenian DRAMS systems. 
it combines all of the features of a normal Southbridge with an accelerated graphics port port and connects directly to the CPU. On N-Force 4 boards it was marketed as a media communications processor. AMD Accelerated Processing Unit processors feature full integration of Northbridge functions onto the CPU chip, along with processor cores, memory controller and graphics processing unit. This was an evolution of the 64 Armenian DRAMs, since the memory controller was integrated on the CPU die in the 64 Armenian DRAMs. The Northbridge was replaced by the system agent introduced by the Sandy Bridge Microarchitecture in 2011, which essentially handles all previous Northbridge functions. Intel A Euro Unregistered Trademark SA Euro OE Sandy Bridge A Euro processors feature full integration of Northbridge functions onto the CPU chip along with processor cores, memory controller and graphics processing unit. This was a further evolution of the Westmere architecture, which also featured a CPU and GPU in the same package. See also Southbridge, chipset References